Uh, hello everyone, this is Ashish again. Uh, so today we are going to continue our session on functions and advanced functions. And uh, in previous video we have discussed the functions and now we will be discussing about advanced function. So first of all let's brief it out uh, what do we mean by function uh, you know just in a uh, few lines and then we will jump on uh, jump into the uh, uh, topic of advanced function and what do we mean by advanced function so functions are like like i said that whenever you have lines of code uh, which uh, which is doing a certain task which you think that uh, uh, you know it would be just so well, I mean, so functions are like you know uh, you enclosed you enclose a modular task you know a, a, a few few lines of code which are responsible for doing a certain task which can be you know defined as a module or or which you can you know collectively uh, you know uh, recognize as a single. Uh, you know single uh, module which is doing a certain thing like like I said that if you have few lines which are doing uh, which uh, which which are responsible for creating user uh, you know it is first setting up the properties of user then you know it is checking whether the user exists or not and then depending upon you know existence it, it goes ahead and create a user and then set the password for the user enable the account and then you know it, the, the whole uh, these these few lines are responsible for creating user and then there is another you know set of lines uh, which are you know uh, responsible for adding that particular user to a particular uh, active directory group maybe or maybe for, to a distribution list or something so what you can do is you can create a function which uh, which will have all the lines responsible for creating user and then you can name that particular function accordingly like create user or something like that and in the same way uh, <clears throat> your you know uh, you can you can you can create another function which will be doing the another task you know which which can be defined a, a, as a, another module you can say that when I mean, module in not terms of uh, i'm not saying it a, a, it in terms of powershell powershell modules are are complete different thing but i'm just saying you know uh, in a layman language or in a in a very understandable you know when you would decide whether you want to create a function for these lines or not so you have to you know first have a brief look on those lines and you have to segregate few lines which are doing a certain task which you can say okay this is one thing then the other few lines which are doing the other thing then the you know then you can collectively enclose them within a function body and that's how you do it we have already discussed the you know the function syntax so that's that's a brief you know what we have done so far like I said you know the function body is like this you know the function name then the function parameter and then the, here you have the body so you can you know body you can be like this right so function body is you know something like this right so this is a you know a, 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 a syntax of a function okay and this is a normal function this is uh, this will work okay but there is another concept which we call advanced function now we what they are I mean advanced functions are also the same thing the function but advanced function you know follow a particular um, I would say particular practice uh, you know specific to PowerShell okay we will we will talk about those practices or those syntax or those things you know uh, those things are particular to PowerShell so this this particular thing you can if you are coming from a different programming language background or if you have done ever you know any scripting or programming function then you must be aware that more or less this is exactly what you do in any type of programming language for creating a function I mean this is 
there there might be a few differences but more or less the you know the the skeleton is same right but advanced function what it does is within this definition it add a few few certain criteria so that it is you know it is kind of much more usable much more advanced much more uh, powerful uh, for for powershell engine to work with that function now what do i mean by you know powerful and and, and features like that so if you have come across some commandlet like uh, let's go ahead and say get service yeah get service so if i get service i have a you know a kind of something like this right and if i will say help for this one you know uh, uh, if i will say help get service right and if i will say show window then it will give me a a customized help for this particular command line now if you want your function to you know behave like this that you know if someone wants a inbuilt if someone want to use the inbuilt help function help you know help tool for your function which you have created right and the i mean it should have this synopsis it should have these parameters and there are so many other things depending i mean diff, apart from these uh you know apart from these uh, things you have uh, you know some some inbuilt uh, common parameters as well like you know if i say get service right get service and then if i go ahead i have few you know few parameters which are you know which are common to this uh, uh this commandlet but then we have verb rows which is which is common to all the functions we have debug we have error action we have error warning these are known as common common parameters so these all things if you want to have all these tools available to your function because these are the things which are uh, coupled with powershell so that's where you know advanced function come comes into the picture so like i said till this everything will work yeah you have created a function using this this param this this um syntax and uh, if you have all the lines correct if you have all the logic correct it will definitely work you know properly but then if you want to go one more level up if you want to do you know things which are very much uh, as per the practices uh, followed by microsoft as per the practices you know advised by microsoft that you know your function should you know you want to have your function look like a commandlet not just like a custom function you know because anyone can use it and anyone can you know use it in a similar way whatever the way i mean whatever the features whatever the things they get with the uh, inbuilt uh, commandlets so advanced function has a different name what we what we can say commandlet so there are commandlet which are defined already like get service get process or any 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 commandlet you get with uh, when you install powershell then if you want to create your own commandlet you have that option and creating your own commandlet is actually creating a function and what type of function it is it is advanced function it is not normal function it will have certain patterns it will have certain uh practices to be followed so that you will be able i mean someone who is using the you know the commandlet created by you or the advanced function created by you would would not be able uh, i mean actually we would be able to uh, use it in a similar way what they do for any other commandlet you know uh, shaped by powershell so that's i mean that's the objective of having advanced function in you know in powershell so as i said having function will do the work you still have a you know lower level of uh, code quality i mean say lower level means you know as i said you, in, in in previous video that uh, you have i mean till yet we have discussed uh, how we do things then we we discussed okay uh you know how to create using loops and all those things then 
you you reach a level you, where you can actually create function to do things right now we are going another level where we are creating function but that function is much like any other command let in in powershell now let's jump into the advanced function right so that's the logic behind advanced function right uh, let's let's go to the uh, definition what uh, we have here advanced function gain access to common windows parameters like i said you know debug and all those things and debug uh, error action error warning all those things you so those things will be available to your users who are using your advanced function right and other stuff that makes the function would look like windows powershell commandlet so the secret it is the use of commandlet binding tag now what it says that you know uh, how it does right so there is a tag which is cmd let binding uh, let's let's go to the let's go to the uh, snippet as i said so control j will give you snippets right function so we have advanced function we have advanced function complete so let's go to the complete one right so it's quite a big snippet if you go it will uh, we will try to uh, cover as much as in single video and then it, I, i am sure there will be uh, there will be um, uh, another video which will continue discussion on advanced function so let's let's start from here so as you can see this is comment this is multi line comment you do in powershell let's see here so in powershell you have one way of commenting is like one line comment okay so this is one line comment but if you have multi line comment then what you can do is you can enclose it with this one we have multi multiple line comment and then you can you know either close it here or you can close it on the next line as well so hash this way so one line comment is this way uh, uh, on one line comment is this and the, the other way is you know having multiple line right so in the same way these all things are you know comment but then uh within comment if you see there is a syntax dot synopsis right dot description dot example so whatever you write you know after a particular thing that will will be displayed on the help of that function so what i mean by that let's you know launch the help again for any commandlet and then i will show you uh, okay so yeah so as you can see there is a heading known as synopsis and you you write the synopsis for this particular thing then you have description then you have you know description and then you have multiple parameters so we will talk about these parameters uh but you know so these are the you know these are the things right and then apart from it you have examples right there are multiple examples if you go through it one then there would be example two as well example nine actually so we have skipped few or few more examples right so example is like you know you can you can have examples here uh, you will be right so this is one example this is two example you don't have to you know mention the numbering but it will order it in the way you have written so first one will be example one second will be example two so this is something you know uh, this is something specific to powershell and these things will you know will 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 help you to less documentation apart from your commandlet so whatever you are writing you are writing in one place within the script and whosoever want to use it will 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 have you know the same tool uh, for accessing help for your function just like they do for you know any inbuilt function so the way they they access help for get service they will be able to use it in your advanced i mean in your commandlet in your advanced function or you, in your function whatever you want to say as well so this is this is one of the thing 
right so you uh, the these are the things you see on your health okay now after that if you see there is a function and then there is a there is a name naming convention so as we have discussed uh, in our uh, um, few first videos that you know in powershell commandlets you know any commandlet will have two part right get acl right get get or you know set set you know set things set acl and all those things so as i said let's, uh, let's so in 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 powershell commandlet the first thing you have is verb then a, a dash and then you have noun right so this is this is the format you have for any commandlet so in the same format if you write your own advanced function you will you know you will uh, you will define that function name in the same format so that it will look like a uh, inbuilt function you know it was like we uh, earlier we we uh, the function name we have we created as my func right so earlier i mean in in a normal function example if i go here my function file yeah my function file let's edit it and let's see what what was the name i i i had given so i have so i uh, defined you know i had defined it as my func instead of that as per powershell advanced function or, or or powershell best practices the function name should be similar to this format so instead of this i would have you know had something a verb so what it is doing it is adding right adding two numbers so verb would be add right add my number add my number or numbers something like this you know add two numbers you know so the first so it should have something like this like the first one is verb and the second one is noun i mean it it talks about the thing which which we are interacting with so in a similar you know so instead of my uh, my function name it should be my func instead of that i i should have something like this add two number so that some if someone will see the you know the name of the function it will he, the, the other person would be able to you know uh, guess what exactly it does just like you know any other uh, you know any other uh, uh, commandlet in powershell so if you go through you know any commandlet you know if i say get something get right so if i am you know aware of like your vm right so v uh, yeah so i mean if i am aware uh, about the azure rm vm then i know that you know get azure rm vm is something to do with azure vm right so i mean without going into help i still able i i am still able to recognize it so that is the motive we have you know having a verb with noun in the function name so this is the first concept you have like if you are creating any function you know make sure you follow this naming convention uh, not all, only for advanced function for any basic function as well it will help your users to you know uh, recognize its working right then we have commandlet binding tag so let's copy it from here right right i i want to you know explain piece by piece so that you would be able to define yeah so let's close this one yeah, so that errors will go yeah and uh, let's just have a few things okay so instead of having multiple parameters you know uh, you can see that there are 
multiple parameters i just you know have one parameter over here okay and i have skipped few things over here so that i can explain these things first and then i will be you know uh, going through the other things so first of all let's understand commandlet binding so commandlet binding it can be it can be it can be like this as well okay so uh, i mean uh, we will we will discuss you know things inside that commandlet binding as well but for the time being comma, what commandlet binding does is uh, the uh, you have this function and if you compare it with our function you know with our uh, basic function definition uh, from here from here you can see that uh, I have function, then I have function name, and then I'm saying param, and I'm not enclosing commandlet binding here. So commandlet binding does a special thing for you if you will mention uh, over the parameter param keyword. I mean, uh, before defining your parameter, if you will mention commandlet binding, then what it does is it tells PowerShell, so PowerShell engine actually, that this this particular function supposed to be supposed to behave like a commandlet a commandlet in powershell so when you when you do commandlet binding then it uh, you know it it automatically gets the information i mean it automatically gives the instruction to powershell engine that this particular thing should have access to powershell uh, commandlet options so that's what it is now what are those options that's what we will be discussing when we will be you know ex we will be discussing about the things inside it so there are few things as you can see so <coughs> these things are related to commandlet okay now apart from th this we have other things as well but let's let's first discuss the commandlet binding then we will be discussing the details of parameters i mean uh, in in our normal function we have dis you know we have declared the param very very simply i mean just param and then parameter names right but here it is much complex here you have lot of you know lot of options so we will discuss about this let's let's first uh, so the the first line says default parameter set name is parameter set 1 so parameter set there is a concept of parameter set in in, in powershell uh, commandlet uh, it is again uh, what it means that uh, if you have you know a function where you can have two you know two parameters and each one is like opposite to each other so what i mean by that you know uh, you are you want to uh, you want to uh, reset a user's password okay but before resetting password you would definitely check whether user you know uh, enabled uh, user account is enabled or disabled so there we, there is a commandlet which says user account account enabled then password is reset should be yes and there should be a commandlet there should be a parameter which is says user account uh, is disabled then obviously you cannot reset the password so password reset option will have no so there are two set so that's how i mean it is a uh, uh, i would reserve it for next session actually i want to discuss it very in in very brief what parameter set means and i will i will have an example for it but for the time being you can say that there is there are few set and uh, you can you know you can have a set of parameter one will be available i mean at a time one will be available from that set so you have two parameters out of one will be available at any at any moment of time we will we will discuss about it but for the time being it's just re, you know it's just setting up that default parameter set name will be this that should process support should process true so it is you know process should process means here if you go in the snippet let's go to the snippet so in my snippet no no here itself i have snippet so if i go here 
yeah so you can see that should process so should process true means it will work it will it will process the whatever the the thing you have written over here it will process so now the the second thing is positional binding positional binding means uh, you have as you can see there are few parameters there is a parameter 1 and then there is a parameter 2 then there is parameter 3 now positional binding means that uh, as you, uh, let's go to my function my func and let me run this one so if I ran this one and now my func should be available to me, my func here, yeah, right? So if I will say, so the first one is a. So I mean I I I I am defining it, right? But suppose I do not say what is a and what is b, and if I will say Ashish, and I will say Raj instead of saying you know oh sorry, it is add function, so it will accept integers three. Uh, actually here it won't uh, it won't matter let me open the other file because here I won't be able to figure out whether A is what and B is what because we are calculating addition so instead of that hello world it is another example I have Okay, so I have a function which says hello world I, I expect first name and last name and then I am printing first name and last name and the, the things like that so let me just have this thing in my cache now hello world yeah and then instead of saying first name and last name what I am saying Ashish and Raj now it will automatically say Ashish is first name and Raj is last name so that's why you are getting Ashish Raj you know in the correct format now suppose instead of that I will say first Raj yeah and I am not saying what is Raj so it will definitely accept Raj as first name and Ashish as last name, right? So it it is automatically taking the positional parameter, you know, the it is strict to the positional parameter. That first name would be the first thing which will come and the last name would be the last thing which will come. So this positional parameter uh, whether you want to be strict, whether you want, you know, whatever uh, you want to, you know, first uh, uh, declare the first name, then last name, or you know, you want to have flexible about it, that is what you know the the positional parameter means. Okay, that is what it means. Positional parameter is false. That means I can declare whichever you know parameter I want to. And declare first like you know I can say param1 with this and then this way so this is false by default it is false and uh, true is you know you have to set it up help URI help URI is something that if you if you want to have help of this then you know you you have this URL so someone who, who want to have you know if you have a KB article or something written for that function you can mention over here I mean it is quite basic about it confirm impact is there is a there is a confirm uh, uh, confirm um, parameter and uh, I mean inbuilt uh, parameter let's see inbuilt common parameter it comes in within inbuilt common parameter like get so service okay Uh, I do not have confirmed for this one. Uh, set, I think. It is asking me whether confirm or not. So it will it will ask me that whether I want to run this or not. So 
if I will say confirm, it will say confirm is operation to target spooler. So are you so this particular thing is whether uh, I want this particular thing to be me uh, to you know to highlight as a medium or highlight as a high high impact or highlight as a low impact. So this is what uh, it means. Uh, you know, uh, well, uh, if you will say, uh, I mean, uh, here for set service it is high, and uh, I mean this particular thing you can define actually. If you will say you you have three options over here, low, medium, and high. If you will say low, then it will it will give a uh, uh, that kind of message uh, that okay there will be a low impact for, uh, after running this command, and then if you will say medium, then it will give that kind of message it is just like you know uh, a kind of uh, a kind of warning or kind of message and it is just an option uh, whether you want to have that uh, what kind of look that a user would you know see uh, if if your function is supposed to do a very high uh, risk thing whether you uh, it's supposed to create, delete a user maybe or, or or delete a user's data then you must be using high over here so that when when the user will get the confirm option he will be able to you know uh, actually uh, be cautious about it so this is what it means and then <clears throat> alias output type these are the things you know if you want to have an alias for this thing and if you want to have an output uh, type you know you want to you know define the output type so there, um, normally we do not use these two things normally we do not but you have the option as we discussed you know there is an alias you can create alias for it right and you can define the output type as well let's uh, skip this these two things for the time being and then we have the param keyword so param keyword has also you know some some uh, values or, or I would say properties uh, that you can set you know and in the same way the, the first if we will be if we will discuss the first one then it will be very easy to uh, relate it with the second one and third one and then so uh, it's already 30 minutes so let's let's uh, you know we will be continuing this uh, you know in next video we will where we will be discussing the param keyword I mean param and the parameters properties what are the things you can set about parameters you know and what are the uses of it and then uh, after once we will be done with param and all those things then I will I will have a basic advanced commandlet uh, advanced function actually or, or commandlet you can say and there we will be discussing this parameter set as well it is very important and it is very uh, quite useful thing uh, whenever you are writing a complex script this will be very useful so i will have this session uh, a session uh, dedicated for it um, you know uh, after you know completing this advanced function topic uh, actually the these all these three things and then once we will complete the process uh, uh, block we will discuss you know uh, the parameter set and um, how we use it and with the example so let's uh, uh, wind it up for today and uh, we will continue on param 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 keyword uh, in next session uh, thank you so much uh, just uh, i'm just trying to you know uh, make it uh, uh, more brief uh, as as well as more explained as much I can or and as much you need to at least get started with so please comment please uh, you know share your feedback uh, what are the things you want me to improve on what are the things uh, you want in detail or if I, I might be you know doing some mistake or uh, while while explaining few things so you can point me out there so that it will help me as well um, you know to to explore that particular part uh, in more detail and uh, we'll, we'll definitely uh, come back uh, with, with the more explanation for that particular feedback. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day.